Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today let us reflect upon the theme, love for enemies. I don't think there is a person in the world who has not been let down by the people or persons at some point of time in their life, used, betrayed, manipulated, backstabbed, criticized, heartbroken or even worst. There is a certain gratification that one gets in hurting the people who have hurt us, and then a sense of perverse satisfaction that one obtains if one is able to strike back and exact vengeance. But that is the way of the world. And if we want to be the children of God, the father of his son, then we cannot be like that. So what do we do? Scripture says many things that might help us to love those whom we ate. We get one such piece from today's gospel passage itself, where Lord Jesus says, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. When we begin to pray for people who hurt us, we will find that our hatred slowly starts to fade. We might take few weeks or even few months, but it will eventually disappear and in the process we will find ourselves purged a lot of rubbish. Jesus also says, whoever does the will of my father is my brother, sister and mother. What is the will of the father? That we forgive others as God has forgiven our own trespasses. We truly show ourselves to be the children of our Father when we are able to extend mercy towards others, as He has extended towards us. John writes in his letter, Love because He loved us first. Whoever claims to love God yet aids his brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brothers and sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not yet seen. When we love those who hate us, we show that we understand God's love for us. Remember, He died for us while still we were sinners. John also writes, Also He has given us this command, Anyone who loves God must love his brother and sister. Ultimately, this is the commandment. Jesus said, A new command I give you, Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. May the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ be always in our hearts.